everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of Bulls darts and these are the Keegan Brown Bulls darts. Now these are currently available from a lot of stockers like Premier Darts, I think Darts GB have them. But I got mine from St Helens Darts and these sent me back £57.95. But these are signed, so that's why I got them from St Helens because they got them signed for me. So let's do the usual, let's have a look at the box, close up to the darts, have a throw, do the new scolia section and then do a recap. So I'm actually looking forward to trying these out, I've not done many bulls darts so let's get them open and see how we're going. So this is a box for the Keegan Brown darts that I got from St Helens Dart Shop. As you can see, the young man himself has put his signature on it. A nice looking box, Keegan's colours on it, 90% tungsten, picture of Keegan. Three darts coming out his chin. Picture of the flight, picture of the stem, you've got a little bull's uh, point protector. I'm telling you these are 24 gram steel tip. On the back, it just gives you a little warning about an Darts being an adult sport and children not sh should not be left unsupervised with darts. You've got the Bulls darts on the back with the Facebook, the Instagram and the Twitter. Telling you on here that the length is 50.9 and the diameter is 6.5. I do believe these come in other weights. I think it might be 22 grams. I'm not sure but I will check and post that at the end of the video. I think... It Yes, it's 22 grams because I can see the length of them is 50.9 and the width is 6.3. So this is, the description for these on the website is, this is a mix of smoother ring grip and sharp grip elements make this dart unique. A B grip 2 SL shaft and his B craft flight match Keegan's design and complete his dart. Keegan's dart was designed in 22 grams and 24 grams version. Keegan the Needle Brown has been playing darts for over 20 years and has been a darts pro for over 10 years. Now if you look at that picture, he looks as if he's about 14, 15. He, he's got one of the youngest looking faces you could get. And I was a bit, when they were watching the darts at the tail end of last season in the World Championships, I'm sure it was the World Championship, he got beat in the third round or something I, I, I need to look it up but I can remember watching it and he lost his tour card and you could tell what it meant to him because he knew if he didn't win that match he was going to lose his tour card but for the second time in his career he's lost his tour card he went straight back to pro school and uh, Q school and he won his card back there and then so you've got to give the guy some Amount of, massive amount of credit for showing the, the determination to just go back there and say no you've not seen the best of me yet I'm coming back for more so let's take these darts out have a look I've not done a lot of bills stuff before so the box is kind of new to me there's something in here but I don't know what it is in this box I don't know I'm just trying to uh, I'll try to figure out what was in this box and when I show you this you'll be like, let's see one of it. Look, this wee bit was tucked in. Just must be for the shops to hang up obviously. So move the box away. Have a look at one of the flights to start with. Because these are quite nice flights. There you go, Keegan Brown, B craft to be standing for bulls obviously. Keegan's colours. A nice looking flight that. I'll look at the stem. It's the B grip stem. And that's a decent sized stem for me. It looks like a medium to me, but I will measure the size of the stem for you. And the most important part is getting the darts out. And there you go. The three darts. Now I would rather that was turned round. There you go. Aesthetics. Nice little point protector. Take one of the barrels out and we'll have a little close up here. Now as I've said before, 
before I do a review, I do not open the darts. I like to be surprised and see what the dart looks like. And that is a very nice looking dart. A lot of people like the natural tungsten uh, colour. They like that. They don't like it coated with anything and fancy colours. But as it's a player's dart, it's always going to be the colour that the player picks. So let's measure the point, which looks a little bit longer than 26, if I'm being honest. But I could be wrong, but it does look about 28 to 30. 28 and a half. Who hasn't got good eyes? So, point is 28.5, so it's longer than your standard point. The length of the barrel is 50.8, so it's a good size barrel for most people. Diameter at its biggest point, we'll do quite a few measurements here. So you've got 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.1 at the back to blend in with the stem. Now, when I'm looking at his dart, I'm seeing the front of the nose, it's just a tapered nose coming down to the point. You've got a little bit of land on the point, but not too much. The cone tapers up to what I would describe as being, people call them shark fin grooves. They're also known as hose connection grooves, because if you look at hose connection, that's how you put it on, you push the hose over, the resistance is on the back and it stops the hose coming off. So it's like a hose connection groove, but people call it a shark groove. Then you come on to a smooth bit of the barrel with one very small ring in it. It's about a half mil micro ring. Another smooth bit of the barrel, then up to more shark grooves. The shark grooves are always good because you get the, you get, when you're pushing the dart that way, that's where the grip is. So it's only going to propel it forward. Then you come to another section of grooves with a lateral groove going through it. One, two, three, four lateral grooves, I think. It's hard to count them because when you spin it, you wash your place. One, two, three, four, five. Five lateral grooves going through it. And then another section, a shark grooves going up towards the rear. And then at the very rear of the barrel, you've got the Bulls logo on it. And it's really smooth, so use rear grippers are either going to have to grip it on that shark groove or you're not going to get any grip whatsoever unless you put in one of the stems that's got the grip on it. But this, it's got grip all the way, probably 75% of the barrel it's got grip. But if you're one of these people that throw right on the rear, you're not going to get that grip. You're going to get just smooth. So we'll be doing the grip ratings for that. As, but me being a front gripper, I'm getting good grip with that shark ring groove. Mid grippers, you're getting good grip as well. Probably not as much as the, f I'll probably say maybe a wee bit more than the front because that there is actually a good grip as well. And you've also got this bit three quarters of the upper barrel, which is a good one. Thread, well finished. So let's get them onto the scales. We've took the sizes, we'll get them on the scales and weigh them. Now on the box, I'm trying to find where it tells me what these are match weighted to, but it doesn't. I think I've done a bill set of darts recently that was also the same. There's nothing in the box, so we'll just get the three of them on the scales and give them a measure and see how they come up. So we're at zero. So we've got 24 24.11 24.11 24 24.12 Maybe that's why bulls don't put it on the box because they're all perfect 24.12 and 24.11 24.11 Absolutely brilliant uh, For people who want to know the full Set up weight. That's uh, twenty five point nine six. So there you go. So we've looked a close look at the darts. We've done the measurements. All that's left now is get it to the board, do a little challenge with the school there, and see how we go on. Let's play 
first, as soon as we put these Kagan Brown darts in the hand, they're very long. I would have to, if I was going to be using these, put a shorter stem on them. They're just too long, but they fly really well. A nice turn to start with. They, they're coming out my hand really easy. The grip level's brilliant. I really like the grip, grip level. So we'll do the 9 darts at the 20s, 9 darts at the 19s, 9 darts at the bull, and then do our little score of challenge. So this is a new feature, the Scolia Challenge, it's 201 and to see how many darts I can get down from 201, we each set of darts at a review. As you can see, 18, then a treble 20, then a single 19. With the Scolia, the, it's fantastic the way it tells you pinpoint accuracy where your darts have landed. You don't need to put any score now, you're just focusing on your score. Already I'm down to 84, had a single 5, just... And then a single three, ruined it. So I've got 76 left to get. Using these darts, I, I'm dead comfortable. They feel really good. They're, they suit my style. I'm down to 40 already. There you go. Nine darts, done. So that's actually a good result for me for the school. That'll probably put this set of darts very close to the top of the leaderboard. So then you go into the coordinates, your stats. Just check what you want. The features on it are absolutely fantastic and I'm going to enjoy using this in the future reviews. In the future reviews, there'll just be a bit of music that's on during this. But just as this is only the third time or fourth time I've used it, just letting you have a wee explanation of how it works. So guys, that's the throwing sections all done. Scroll their challenge done. We'll go over to the back to the board, do a recap and do the ratings. And give him a and give you the marks out of five for a grip, marks out of ten for value for money, and marks out of ten for the overall performance of the dart. So time for the ratings for the Keegan Brown Bulls darts. I like these darts. You seen that I was getting good results throwing. 
they are probably the longest set of darts I've ever thrown and as you see in the throwing section the flight came off a couple of times so the first thing I would do it would I would be punching the flights or maybe even changing the stems I just don't know just the flights just come off too easy for me barrel design I really like it packaging I really like it grip levels for me on these darts as the front where you've got the little sharp grip just off the nose really really good so you're getting three for that the mid grip you also get the bit of the sharp groove with a little ring groove as a three and the rear now this is where it becomes difficult because if you grab very at the very rear of this dart you've not got any grip you've just got the bulls logo but if you catch a bit of that sharp grip you're getting a good grip if your fingers are big enough to catch that sharp grip i'm going to give this a two because i think you will get a bit of that sharp grip in the back value for money now taking into account these are 57 pounds and 95 pence they are another player dart, albeit he's an up-and-coming uh, player, he's holding his own, he's, he can only get higher up in the rankings. I'm going to give this a solid, oh, don't know if I'm going to change my mind, no, this is definitely value for money, it's an 8 out of 10. Packaging's lovely, the darts are lovely, flights are lovely, it was flying lovely, it's an 8 out of 10. Overall, on the RVB scale, it's not going to compete with RVB darts because they're quite thin, they're quite long, not what I use, I use a medium sized dart, I like a, a thicker front, but it's going to get a high rating because I was getting good results, but this is an 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 for the overall, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, it's a great dart for bills, if you see these in the shop and you think you can throw these, by them you won't be disappointed it's a really nice dart so before we wrap up this video i'm just going to say again if you're interested in getting a scolia head over to st helen's darts shop i'll put a link in the comments and in the description so you can see just click on it i'll take you to where you can buy a the scolia if you use the code cowboy when you're ordering it you will get free delivery in the UK. It's a, it's a good deal. It's a good saving. So guys, thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification key, get notified for all the rest of the videos that's coming out in the near future. And most of all, keep enjoying your darts and I'll catch you in the next review.